Hello, today we will learn about work energy theorem. So first let me explain work first. So what is work? Say for example, I have a box. Okay. I am going to tie it with a string and I am going to pull it. Okay. So I am applying force to pull the box. So this force is along this string. Now what happens? See, because of this force, this box will move from one position to another position. Okay, the box will come here. So, what is happening here? Displacement of the box has taken place. So, this displacement of the box is nothing but work. So, how was this work done? By applying force. Okay, so now I can actually define my work done using this force and displacement. Okay, so the work is defined as work done is defined as okay product of component of force. In the direction of displacement of displacement and the product of uh, sorry magnitude of the force and the magnitude of the force sorry magnitude of the displacement okay So what does it mean? So here he has uh, told component of force in the direction of displacement. So what does this mean? So now my force is acting in this direction. So I can break it into two components. One is horizontal component that is F cos theta. So theta is nothing but this angle. Okay. Okay. And my uh, uh, vertical component that is F sin theta. Now where is my displacement? My displacement is in this direction that is horizontal direction. So this is my displacement. Okay. So what does the uh, formula say? So work done is the product of component of force in the direction of displacement. So among F sin theta and F cos theta which is along the direction of displacement it is this F cos theta. So it is F cos theta and the magnitude of displacement magnitude of displacement is d so this is what is the formula for work done work done is f cos theta d where theta is actually the angle between force and displacement okay So now let us consider some scenarios okay so now for say for example first scenario i'm going to say there is a big hill okay and a small person stands here he starts pushing the hill is applying force in this direction but the hill does not move so my displacement is going to be zero that means my work done is going to be zero okay so though he is applying force there is no displacement so my work done is going to be zero okay now in second scenario what happens uh, say for example i'm going to take a down slope huh? so when you're moving uh, in a cycle what happens when you're going down the road you usually don't pedal the cycle goes by itself that is you are not pedaling that is no force is applied no f so in this sort of situation what happens cf becomes zero so the work done is actually zero so he is not doing any work though there is displacement. In another uh, case what happens if at all my theta is 0, 90 degrees. My theta is what angle between force and displacement. That is if my force is acting in this direction, my displacement is acting in this direction. If And that is the angle between force and displacement is 90 degrees. So now what happens to cos theta? cos theta is going to be cos 90 which is going to be actually 0. So in this case also my work done is going to be 0. So these are some scenarios where the work done can be 0. So now we will come for work energy theorem. 
so now whenever the body is moving in a straight line we know that these are the equations of motion so we are very familiar with this equations of motion here v is actually the final velocity u is initial velocity t is time s is displacement and e is acceleration so i'm going to take this second equation so second equation i'm going to write here it's going to be final velocity square equivalent to initial velocity square plus 2 a s s is my displacement okay so now i'm going to multiply half m on both the sides so i'm going to have half m u square plus 2 as into m by 2 okay so now this is what kinetic energy so this is kinetic energy which is going to be final kinetic energy because this is final velocity this is going to be kinetic energy initial kinetic energy. okay now here what happens 2 2 goes off m a and s so i have what here m a and displacement yes this is nothing but force into m a is force into displacement so i have f into d this is nothing but work done so i'm going to push this this side it's going to be kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial equivalent to work done so my work done is literally delta ke that is change in kinetic energy okay it's going to be change in kinetic energy so this is what is work energy theorem so it is a equation which actually connects work and the energy kinetic energy so now we will look upon a problem based on this okay now here i'm going to read a problem first the bullet is fired into a fixed target loses half of its velocity after penetrating 3 cm how much further it will penetrate before coming to rest assuming that it faces constant resistance to motion okay so now let me explain the problem there is a target here okay there is a fixed target which is not moving so i have a bullet okay this is my bullet it is traveling with the velocity v not so what happens it penetrates into this target travels 3 cm as yes, it then that it travels 3 cm so let uh, the point where it enters do it's going to travel 3 cm here so let this 3 cm i'm going to represent this point as e so what happens it loses half of its velocity after penetrating 3 cm so after covering a distance of 3 cm its velocity is going to become v not by e2 then how much further it will penetrate before coming to rest here at point a it does not come to rest it's going to travel some more distance and it comes to rest at b so at b what happens v is going to be zero okay now our aim is to find this distance let me call this as s so let me call a p s and wo a is going to be 3 cm okay so our aim is to find s yes. so now let us first find work done for the distance wo a hmm? so let me write work done for the distance wo a so now what is going to happen here now Uh, when once the bullet enters this uh, target is going to try to force it outside so the target is putting a force in this direction the target tries to stop bullet from entering and the displacement is what bullet is trying to enter the target so my displacement is going to be d so what is theta here theta is going to be 180 degree so my cos theta is going to be minus so what happens for work done so work done is nothing but force into displacement so here displacement is what force is going to be minus f uh, and and cos 180 actually hmm? it's going to be cos 180 so it is going to be minus f and the displacement is going to be 3 cm 
so now for this work done is going to be change in kinetic energy we have work done equivalent to change in kinetic energy so my f into 3 is equivalent to final velocity is going to be half m m is going to be the mass of the bullet here and final velocity is what v naught by 2 the whole square minus half m i am taking for oa distance so final velocity is v naught by 2 initial velocity is v naught so it's going to be v naught square okay so now what happens we are just going to simplify this and solve for f so what is going to happen so this is going to be i am going to take some common things common things are m half m v naught square so then i am going to get 1 by 4 minus 1 so this is going to be okay now this 3 i am going to push it up so i have f m f minus f so 1 by 6 m v naught square so this is going to be minus 3 by 4 okay so minus minus goes off my f it is actually going to be m v naught uh, square divided by 8 so this is going to be my f okay so i'm going to keep this aside i'm going to mark this as 1 okay now we are going to calculate the work done for the distance a b hmm? so shall i do here itself yeah i can do here so now work done So work done for the distance a b that is yes okay we need to find yes so here also force is going to be same so it's going to be minus f but uh, uh, sorry o a we are going to take okay not a b o a okay so it's going to be o b huh? so o b means what is the distance 3 plus yes okay o b is nothing but o a plus a b okay it's going to be 3 plus yes so i'm going to write 3 plus yes my final velocity is going to be 0 so half m 0 so my final velocity is 0 minus half m initial velocity is going to be v naught here so it's going to be v naught square okay so f is what if i'm going to substitute from the back equation so that is m v naught square so minus m v naught square by 8 into 3 plus s yes is equivalent to minus half m v naught square okay so m v naught square m v naught square is getting cancelled minus minus is also getting cancelled so then i have 3 plus s yes divided by 4 equal to 1 so 3 plus s yes equal to 4 so my s yes is going to be 1 centimeter okay so this is going to be the answer so which option is correct here so my one centimeter is here so option d is correct okay so hope i have made uh, uh, the problem clear to you and hope you have understood it thank you so much